Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video. Now in today's Star Wars Battlefront video, we're going to be talking about how to actually improve your aim on Star Wars Battlefront and how to just generally get more kills by having a better accuracy and obviously not missing as many bullets. Now the first thing I want you to do is lower your sensitivity. Now don't drastically lower it, you have to just lower it over a slow period of time, so like say over a period of 3 or 4 days, if you're on about an 80% sensitivity all you'll have to do is knock it down to a 60 then knock it down to a 40 a day later just knock it down over a period of time don't drop it from obviously about 80 percent all the way down to 20 percent it would just be stupid you wouldn't get used to it that well and you would play it obviously a lot worse now the reason i'm saying to do this is because it actually takes a lot of bullets on target to kill obviously unless you get a headshot at close range but at range a higher sensitivity is going to get you killed because it is less precise and you're going to obviously miss a lot more bullets where someone with a lower sensitivity will just be able to keep their aim on you pretty much the whole time the sensitivity i actually use is at 20 percent and on other shooters it tends to be around the lower range on call of duty i think it's about a four on battlefield it's around that as well because it actually gives me a better accuracy so use a lower sensitivity unless you are one of those people who can control them insane sensitivity like an 80 85 90 percent sensitivity obviously then stick to that now on the controls i actually use a toggle sprint and a whole zoom which matches up to the controls used on most popular first person shooters like call of duty and battlefield i actually like to use hold just so i feel like i have more of a control over my aim when i'm aiming down sights and when i'm actually hip firing when I use toggle zoom it feels like it does take a lot longer to actually zoom in and out of your sights so it doesn't feel like I'm actually in control as much where if I'm using hold I just have to hold it on the left trigger obviously I'm aiming down sights I let go I'm not aiming down sights it is just a lot more accurate it does feel like you are in a lot more control. As for soldier buttons you can use default or alternate but I find that meleeing in Battlefront is actually a lot more important than crouching behind cover as you're more likely to run into someone round a corner and have to melee or say you're shooting someone and you get them weak if you're really close to them all you have to do is press R3 and you do actually melee them killing them straight away and most of the cover in the game is actually taller than your person like on Endor for example you can run around in the forest you don't have to hide behind much cover because all the trees are really tall you don't have to crouch but you might run around a few trees end up running into a stormtrooper you shoot them a few times and then you have to hit R3 and actually melee it's more effective than actually crouching would be as for the soldier buttons and sticks, they're actually just left alone. I've left them the same because I always use aim on the right thumbstick and I always use move on the left. It's just the same controls that I use on every single other game, so I thought it'd be stupid to actually mess around with it on Star Wars Battlefront. Also, one major point which will actually help you guys out is if you're on the Xbox One, try to buy the Xbox One Elite controller as it actually has trigger stops, the same as the scuff controller, but with the Xbox One Elite controller, you actually can turn them on and off so it allows you to play other games with the controller whereas a scuff i think you can only use a scuff for call of duty and i think you can use it for a few first person shooters i might be wrong but i'm not 100 percent sure because i don't actually own one myself but with having these trigger stops it actually makes you able to fire your gun a lot quicker than someone without trigger stops and it gives you a couple of seconds advantage meaning you get to put a few more bullets into them first before they can actually put bullets into you if you're on ps4 try and buy a scuff but i don't know if a scuff works for star wars battlefront so you might be better trying to actually flip your triggers so your shoot and aim down sight is actually on the bumpers on the PlayStation which I think are the buttons and with them being buttons you can actually obviously press them a lot faster meaning it's going to give you them a few seconds of advantage again where if you've got the PlayStation controller switched so it's on the triggers it's going to be a lot slower to aim down your sight and actually fire than someone who has the aim down sight and fire on the buttons. Another thing to actually improve your aim is to go along to settings and go to gameplay and turn off the vibration because when the vibration actually happens and if you're in the middle of a gunfight shooting at a stormtrooper or a rebel or whichever side you're on it will actually knock your aim off a little bit getting you killed because you're not hitting them few bullets which you would be hitting if you actually had your controller vibration off. So I, I would really recommend turning your vibration off obviously it feels a bit more real if you have it on but it is going to get you killed more than if you have it off and it can keep your aim on track when normally the vibration would actually happen now one final thing to actually improve your aim is to play a lot of one player mission battles against ai bots to warm your shot up before you actually go online play as a regular soldier without any friendly ai to make sure you're getting as many kills as possible improving your aim over a slow period of time do this a few times with turning aim assist off as well practice getting kills on your own 
with no assist from the game at all. And it's obviously if you do this every day or every few days before you actually play it online, it's really going to help you improve your aim over the period of a week or two weeks or something like that. The more you do it, obviously, the better your aim will actually get. So if you go out there now and follow all of these tips over the course of a few days, it might take up to a week, it might take two weeks, as I've said, you will see your aim actually improve over a period of time. It may only improve a little bit or it may improve by a large amount. But either way, your aim is going to get a lot better and you're going to overall become a lot better at Star Wars Battlefront, getting more kills and helping your team win a lot more matches. So if you found this guide actually useful, smash a like and comment down below whether it's worked for you or if not, what other tips you've actually got to share with everyone. Subscribe to be kept up to date with all things Star Wars Battlefront. And other than that, may the force be with you.